In computer science, the partition problem is the task of deciding whether a given multiset S of positive integers can be partitioned into two subsets S1 and S2 such that the sum of the numbers in S1 equals the sum of the numbers in S2. Although the partition problem is NP-complete, there is a pseudo-polynomial time-dynamic programming solution, and there are heuristics that solve the problem in many instances either optimally or approximately. For this reason, it has been called the easiest hard problem. There is an optimization version of the partition problem, which is to partition the multiset S into two subsets S1, S2 such that the difference between the sum of elements in S1 and the sum of elements in S2 is minimized. The optimization version is NP-hard, but can be solved efficiently in practice. Examples, given S equals 3, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, a valid solution to the partition problem is the two sets S1 equals 1, 1, 1, 2 and S2 equals 2, 3. Both sets sum to 5, and they partition S. Note that this solution is not unique. S1 equals 3, 1, 1 and S2 equals 2, 2, 1 is another solution. Not every multiset of positive integers has a partition into two halves with equal sum. An example of such a set is S equals 2, 5. Pseudo-polynomial time algorithm, the problem can be solved using dynamic programming when the size of the set and the size of the sum of the integers in the set are not too big to render the storage requirements infeasible. Suppose the input to the algorithm is a list of the form, S equals x1. xn, let n be the number of elements in S let k be the sum of all elements in S. That is, k equals x1 plus, plus xn. We will build an algorithm that determines if there is a subset of S that sums to. If there is a subset, then, if n is even, the rest of S also sums to, if n is odd, then the rest of S sums to. This is as good a solution as possible. Equals recurrence relation equals, we wish to determine if there is a subset of S that sums to. Let, P, I, J, be true if a subset of X1. XJ sums to I and false otherwise. Then P, N, is true if and only if there is a subset of S that sums to. The goal of our algorithm will be to compute P, N. In aid of this, we have the following recurrence relation, P, I, J, is true if either P, I, J, A1, is true or if P, I, A, X, J, J, A1, is true, P, I, J, is false otherwise, the reasoning for this is as follows, there is some subset of S that sums to I using numbers, X1, X, J, if and only if either of the following is true, there is a subset of X1 xj1 that sums to i. There is a subset of x1. xj1 that sums to i a xj, since xj plus that subset sum equals i. Equals the pseudo-polynomial algorithm equals, the algorithm is to build up a table of size by n containing the values of the recurrence. Remember k is the size of the sum, while n is the number of elements. Once the entire table is filled in, return p, n. Below is a picture of the table P. There is a purple arrow from one block to another if the value of the target block might depend on the value of the source block. This dependence is a property of the recurrence relation. Input, a list of integers S. Output, true if S can be partitioned into two subsets that have equal sum. One function fine partition, S, 2 n a S, 3 n a sum, S, 4 p a empty boolean table of size by. 5 initialize top row, of P to true, 6 initialize leftmost column, of P, except for P, 0, 0, to false, 7 for I from 1 to, 8 for J from 1 to N, 9 P, I, J, a P, I, J1, or P, I S, J, J1, 10 return P, N, equals example equals, below is the table P for the example set used above S equals 3, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1. Equals analysis equals, this algorithm runs in time O, K N, where N is the number of elements in the input set and K is the sum of elements in the input set. The algorithm can be extended to the K-way multi-partitioning problem, but then takes O, N, K A1, M K A1, 
memory where m is the largest number in the input, making it impractical even for k equals 3 unless the inputs are very small numbers. Special case of the subset sum problem, the partition problem can be viewed as a special case of the subset sum problem and the pseudo-polynomial time dynamic programming solution given above generalizes to a solution for the subset sum problem. Approximation algorithm approaches, several heuristic algorithms exist to produce approximations to the partition optimization problem. These can be extended to linear space exact algorithms. Equals the greedy algorithm equals, one approach to the problem, imitating the way children choose teams for a game, is the greedy algorithm, which iterates through the numbers in descending order, assigning each of them to whichever subset has the smaller sum. This approach has a running time of O, and log N. This heuristic works well in practice when the numbers in the set are of about the same size as its cardinality or less, but it is not guaranteed to produce the best possible partition. For example, given the set S equals 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 as input, this greedy algorithm would partition S into subsets 4, 5, 8 and 6, 7. However, S is an exactly balanced partition into subsets 7, 8 and 4, 5, 6. This greedy approach is known to give a 7 or 6 approximation to the optimal solution of the optimization version. That is, if the greedy algorithm outputs two sets A and B, then max, an A, a B, A per mil 7 currency and 6 currency opt, where opt is the size of the larger set in the best possible partition. Below is pseudocode for the greedy algorithm. This algorithm can be extended to the case of k greater than two sets, to take the k largest elements, and for each partition of them, extends the partition by adding the remaining elements excessively to whichever set is smaller. This version runs in time O, 2KN2, and is known to give a slash, K plus 1, approximation. I currency has, we have a polynomial time approximation scheme for the number partition problem, though this is not a fully polynomial time approximation scheme. However, there are variations of this idea that are fully polynomial time approximation schemes for the subset sum problem, and hence for the partition problem as well equals differencing algorithm equals, another heuristic is the largest differencing method, also called the Karma Kara Euro Karp heuristic after the pair of scientists that published it in 1982. LDM operates in two phases. The first phase of the algorithm takes the two largest numbers from the input and replaces them by their difference. This is repeated until only one number remains. The replacement represents the decision to put the two numbers in different sets, without immediately deciding which one is in which set. At the end of phase 1, the single remaining number is the difference of the two subset sums. The second phase reconstructs the actual solution. The differencing heuristic performs better than the greedy one, but is still bad for instances where the numbers are exponential in the size of the set. The following Java code implements the first phase of Karma Kara Euro Carp. It uses a heap to efficiently find the pair of largest remaining numbers. Equals other approaches equals, there are also any time algorithms, based on the differencing heuristic, that first find the solution returned by the differencing heuristic, then find progressively better solutions as time allows. Hard instances, sets with only one, or no partitions tend to be hardest to solve compared to their input sizes. When the values are small compared to the size of the set, perfect partitions are more likely. The problem is known to undergo a phase transition, being likely for some sets and unlikely for others. If m is the number of bits needed to express any number in the set and n is the size of the set then tends to have many solutions and tends to have few or no solutions. As n and m get larger, the probability of a perfect partition goes to 1 or 0 respectively. This was originally argued based on empirical evidence by Gent and Walsh, then using methods from statistical physics by Mertens, and later proved by Borgs, Chase, and Pittel. Variance and generalizations There is a problem called the three partition problem, which is to partition the set S into S slash three triples each with the same sum. This problem is quite different than the partition problem and has no pseudo-polynomial time algorithm unless p equals np. 
the multi-weight partition problem generalizes the optimization version of the partition problem. Here, the goal is to divide a settle multiset of n integers into a given number k of subsets, minimizing the difference between the smallest and the largest subset sums. For further generalizations of the partition problem, see the bin packing problem. Equals probabilistic version equals, a related problem, somewhat similar to the birthday paradox, is that of determining the size of the input set so that we have a probability of one half that there is a solution, under the assumption that each element in the set is randomly selected with uniform distribution between one and some given value. The solution to this problem can be counterintuitive, like the birthday paradox. For example, with elements randomly selected in between 1 and 1 million, many people's intuition is that the answer is in the thousands, tens, or even hundreds of thousands, whereas the correct answer is approximately 23. Notes References Hayes, Brian, The Easiest Hard Problem, American Scientist, Karmaka, Narenda. Karp, Richard M., The Differencing Method of Set Partitioning, Technical Report UCB CSD 82-113, Gent, Ian. Walsh, Toby, Wolfgang Walster, ed., Phase Transitions and Annealed Theories, Number Partitioning as a Case Study, John Wiley and Sons, pages 170 Euro 174, Gent, Ian. Walsh, Toby, Analysis of Heuristics for Number Partitioning, Computational Intelligence 14, 430 Euro 451, doi, 10.1111-0824-7935.00069, Mertens, Stefan, Phase Transition in the Number Partitioning Problem, Physical Review Letters 81, 4281, ARZIV, Condition Mat 9807077, Bibcode, 1998 PHRVL 81.4281M, DOI, 10.1103 Visrev Let. 81.4281, Retrieved October 3, 2009, Mertens, Stefan, a Physicist's Approach to Number Partitioning, Theoretical Computer Science 265, 79 a Euro 108, doi, 10.1016 per second 0304 3975, 01, 00153-0, Mertens, Stefan, The Easiest Hard Problem, Number Partitioning, in Alan Perkis. Gabriel Estrate. Christopher Moore. Computational Complexity and Statistical Physics, Oxford University Press U.S., pages 125, AR ZIV, Condition Mat 0310317, Bibcode, 2003 Cand Mat. 1-0317-M, ISBN 9780195177374, Borgs, Christian. Chase, Jennifer. Pittle. Boris, Phase Transition and Finite Size Scaling for the Integer Partitioning Problem, Random Structures and Algorithms 19, 247 a Euro 288, doi, 10.1002 slash RSA 10004, retrieved October 4, 2009, Korf, Richard E., A Complete Anytime Algorithm for Number Partitioning, Artificial Intelligence 106, 181 a Euro 203, doi, 10.1016 per second 0004-3702, 98, 0086-1, ISSN. 0004-3702, retrieved October 4, 2009, Mertens, Stefan, a complete anytime algorithm for balanced number partitioning, ARZIV, CS 9903011, Bibcode, 1999 CS, 3011M.